Crisis Group's um, Gender Works looks at the varied ways in which different genders are affected by conflict. And it's not just about bringing women into the picture, but it's also understanding the various roles that women play in these conflicts. So to get over this very simplified view that we tend to focus just, just on the, the sexual exploitation, the abuse, but we have also to see women as peace activists, as peace builders, as peacemakers. And oftentimes when you look at the peace table, you don't see women. And what we've tried to do at Crisis Group is to make sure that our analysis is complete in telling that story about the, the harm that is done to women, but the role that they play in these various conflicts, the role that they play in finding resolution to the conflict. In Cameroon, for example, in the Anglophone crisis, looking at the, the, the abuse against women and children, um, young girls, boys as well, but also looking at the, the various roles of women, either as separatists, either as federalists. You also begin to discover that women who live in the rural areas have very different experiences from the women who live in urban entities. And then we've just finished this tremendous work that we did in Northwest Pakistan, where we saw women as political fighters for the constitutional rights of women in that country, but also showing how they can become instruments for militant um, groups um, in pushing particular agendas. But what I appreciated about that report, it, it showed the campaign that women had made for political rights and to be integrated um, in the constitution of the country, but also showed how women themselves are able to craft or be able to become critical voices in trying to secure um, peace deals as well. So we spend a great deal of time analysing the impact on various groups, women, children, girls, boys, men, but also ensuring that the policy, the recommendations, the resolutions, the peace agreements reflect those varied narratives. In terms of the next chapter of our, of our gender work, you know, one of the things that I'm excited about is the work that we are, for example, going to be doing in Mexico. And this has been made possible um, by our Women's Alliance, a, a group of women drawn from all different um, sectors of society, global in nature, who, because of our mandate of saving lives, feel that they can make a significant contribution to ensuring that gender is at the centre of our efforts um, in saving lives. It's a privilege to be at the helm of an organisation that has a very comprehensive methodology and it's making sure that our policies are able to impact those lives in a way that ends conflicts as well. <laughs>